hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to give a, a quick tutorial about a problem I've been having lately with my WordPress site. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I, I uh, who come to this channel, I uh, have a website where I create backing tracks for bands uh, in Ableton. And um, but for you who are finding this video, you're probably looking for problem with the WooCommerce plugin that when you have instant downloads, it's sending them the wrong download link or some kind of just pre-made garbage, you know, gribble, 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 dot zip. And, um, and I've been having that problem. I couldn't find it anywhere online to, uh, to show me someone who actually solved this problem. So I finally figured it out for myself and I wanted to share it with everyone else who might be having that problem. So anyhow, if you're having, if you have a WordPress site and you have an instant download where, um, or downloadable products and you're basically trying to redirect them to like a Dropbox link or um, something like that and it's not sending them that file, it's send them, it's making up some weird file and not saying the actual file. Um, I'm going to show you how to solve that problem. Anyhow, so let me go back to over to my front of my website here and my ugly mug off here. And uh, so anyway, I'm on my WordPress, my WordPress site and like you can see that we do, um, I create backing tracks uh, sets in Ableton Live, but a lot of them I'll actually, I actually have a lot of uh, sets done already. So I instant downloads over here. And these are stuff where I have, you know, 150 stem, 103 stem packs, or this one has 72 songs. So these are big files. These are like, uh, these are like five zips um, of, um, let me come over here. So these are like five, you know, like in the, the 72 songs, that's basically like five zip files that are three gigs each. So I have to redirect them to a Dropbox and to download that, those, that, that many files. I can't just upload to, to WooCommerce plugin and, and have them download like a PDF. If you're doing that, you're probably not having that kind of problem, but if you're trying to redirect them, so I'm gonna click on, let me just show you, like when I set up my cart, so I'm gonna go over to this product and edit the product. And then when I scroll down to where my download is, so I have you know the, the the virtual and the downloadable edited, and I have I I, put, I redirect to the URL where my product is, which basically that's a redirect over to Dropbox. So if I click there and go here, it's going to take me to a Dropbox where all my where all these files are. <clears throat> so anyway, my problem was is I kept when someone would order that, I'm going to come over here and, and show you what I would get. Okay, so what my problem was, if I had an order come in, basically, you know, and, and it was completed, I'll just resend this to myself. So this is just a mock one. And um, just resend that. Um, come in for a second. I'll show you what, what I was getting. Open up my email here. Um, Boom. So I'd get, I would get this in the mail or my clients would get this in the mail and they clicked on this Dropbox or the link is this, this garbage right here. They should be getting take, taken over to a Dropbox page and with a bunch of files in it, but they're getting this. And if they download it, then, and they basically get a 265, um, kilobyte or 272 gil, uh, kilobyte file of garbly gook and not their so of course they call me and email me hey I didn't get my file blah 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 and I look forever trying to figure that out and so it's an easy fix all you got to do is go into your WordPress and um, just go over to your WooCommerce settings right down here settings click on your um, products, I believe. Yeah, and then your downloadables. And then change this from force downloads down to redirect only. That's because I want to redirect them to a Dropbox. So click on redirect, click save. All right, so now I'm gonna go back over to my orders Sorry about the gum chewing. I quit smoking eight months ago, nine months ago now, and I chew the hell out of Nicorette gum. 
So I'm going to click on that order again and I'm going to resend a new link. So I'm going to resend that. Click update. Come over and check my mail. There's a new one that just came in. So now if I click on this, this is what my clients will be getting. Now if I click on the same download link. Ta-da! There you go. Just took me to Dropbox where the files were at. Because each one of these files, like I said, are like three gigs big. So anyhow, um, I looked all over online trying to get that people were giving me different code to put in there and saying I need to refresh this and do this and do that but actually all it is is I need to send a redirect setting because uh, so anyway hopefully if, the, if you're having the same issue and you're looking all over and you can't find any information at all uh, hopefully that will solve your problem but you know um, also if you have any other issues and that kind of stuff you know, leave a comment in the description I'll see if I can't figure it out also let me know if this helped you out and make sure you like subscribe comment check out some of my other stuff also if you're into music go over and check out my band's uh, YouTube channel it's also in the description but it's just youtube.com forward slash FOJC TV which is for fans of Jimmy Century let me see if I can find a good poster here I'll bring on my my little roaming cam let me turn it on here hold on turn on my roaming cam and there's fans of Jimmy Century nice little picture of them up there hello all right, so anyhow, yeah, go over and check out uh, FOJC TV on YouTube, which is for fans of Jimmy Century TV, all right? So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, let me know if this helped you, and see you next time. Bye. Action. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to kind of show you how I'm doing my uh, my um, how-to tutorials, um, especially when it comes to music software and uh, video editing software, how I'm doing it now, uh, which is a really uh, cool little method and uh, it's a, a, a tool that I just got, the 